Hello everyone, my name is Brisida Yahai and I'm the Education and Youth Technical Advisor for World Vision Albania and Kosovo. I'm here today to present two ideas in this competition, but first let me give you a little bit of an overview of what is our work in Albania in 240 communities where children with disabilities are core to our programming of inclusive education and inclusive communities. So during the COVID pandemic, uh, our office has been providing a lot of support to the communities, but while providing this kind of support, we try to better understand the situation and we have some data to share here with you to give you an overview where 35% of parents declared that they are expressing very high levels of stress during this period of time. Only five in 10 children with disabilities has received some kind of support from a teacher during the quarantine and remote learning while we cannot talk at all about quality access to this to the learning process 55 percent of caregivers see that see technology as supporting the learning needs for their children with disabilities during this period of time we've done a lot of uh, production of materials in support to the learning process and the psychosocial support for children and children with disabilities specifically. We have produced two books uh, which will help children in Albania dealing with the consequences of the earthquake and the um, COVID-19 pandemic, which are both uh, uh, emergency um, responses and uh, that we have been dealing in the past months in our country. We have been producing a series of 30 podcasts were building a uh, focusing on resilience and mental health of individuals in Albania. But the unicity of this podcast was that they not, could not only hear them, you could visually see them, but also they were accessible simultaneously in sign language, in the Albanian sign language. Um, the other material that I would like to present, which builds a lot on the idea that I'm presenting you today, is the stay at home family challenge. Uh, it's a well-designed curriculum with uh, games, activities, encouragement, uh, exercises, uh, which involves the entire family. Uh, we used this curriculum to engage 28 parenting groups and it was facilitated by the World Vision local staff through WhatsApp channels and it involves 782 participants. So the goal of this stay at home family challenge uh, was to strengthen family bonds and improve relationships as well as to rediscover family values in this challenging time. So here you can see the picture of a father reading to, of, uh, to, uh, to his two daughters. Someone might say there is nothing special in that, but in a context like Albania, where we have a lot of communities which are re really patriarchal, uh, the role of the father is seen as the provider rather than the care caregiver. So we, we try to address also the gender norms within the family during this period of time. So I'm gonna leave you for a few seconds to watch yourself some of the benefits of the stay at home family challenge. Aktivitet të argëtuese dhe edukative këshila mbi prindërimin. Familjet u bon pjesë e një udhëtimi argëtues dhe të mësuar në karantin. Për shëndetja, unë pamit, po dhe një pira, të ndimaj mami. Ali, kushtë të dëshiroje, mund të zhiri që të hamë blashë nërë. Ali, la të të bra? Një zimë. Kuste, mra mami. Prindërit, gjyshërit, fëmijat, e këthuen kohën e qëndrimit në shtëpi në një investim të veçant në jetën familjare, duke kryuar kujtime të ëmbla, përjetuar dashuri dhe përkujdesje dhe duke mbështetur njëri tjetrin në gjitho situat të vështirë. E da shumë nëmi, e u që shkëqenë në shumë në qërë. So basically the idea that I'm presenting today links to the Stay at Home Family Challenge. We would love to have this curriculum transformed into an app which if you see in my screen here, it involves games, activities, encouragement and challenges. We would like this app to have accessibility features for involving children and parents, uh, especially children who have disabilities in Albania, at a certain moment to possibly involve corporates and businesses that where families can finish a challenge that can be awarded somehow uh, with small incentives, but also involving businesses responding to their uh, uh, corporate responsibilities. And we aim to reach many more families in Albania through this app rather than just the 700 that we reach through only through uh, WhatsApp channels. The second idea is 
to uh, accessible books for children. Previously, I mentioned to you the books from Trink and Sam series, international series. So we would love them to have as audiobooks uh, that can be freely downloadable in Albanian for our contents. We do not have stuff like that here. And also um, for them to be narrated into sign language for children with hearing impairment. Uh, if you have any questions, please feel to contact me or my colleagues Edward Winter and Alisa Phillips. Thank you.